Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I painted the Furry Fury. Yes, the Furry Fury for Rumble Slam. One of my children loved the look of this uh, team, so he asked if we could get it. And of course I said yes, because you know I'm a great dad and that's, that's what great dads do. Um, I've been painting them up over the last few days. These took a little bit longer than the starter box uh, guys. The ones that we've seen bunch of times in my videos so far. Um, they were also multi-part, some of them. So there were a few um, hands. Uh, actually, these two big guys had heads and tails that had to be added. These little guys had um, uh, arms, I believe. Uh, yes, arms, uh, all the arms and the tails. And the big guy had um, a leg and I believe an arm. Yeah, one arm, one leg, and... Um, and a tail that had to be attached. So um, not as simple as the starter box uh, two teams, which you know wasn't so bad. Um, I don't like building if you've seen my likes and dislikes video, but um, it was okay. It was done. Washed them up, got them ready. Now there were a few little um, holes, a few little areas. So like um, a couple fingers, like these little guys have some fingers that are missing tips. I don't have, I only have liquid green stuff, which I guess I could try to make a little little fingertip, but I didn't. Um, I did fill the holes as best as I could, but I got a little impatient, and by the time that was ready, instead of filling them in a little bit more, I just went and started painting, because um, that's okay. A little blemish. My son won't mind. He's nine. He's fine. Um, and you can't really tell if, from afar. It's only when you look up real close. If you know where they are, you might see them. So anyway, uh, clean them up, liquid green stuff them, and then we began. So um, I did have them on little uh, MDF wood bases temporarily while I did most of the painting. It was only when they either fell off or um, I got to the um, the very end, uh, I'll tell you when, uh, when I transferred them to these round bases. And you can see three of the bases still have their film on the bottom. I do have to just rip that off, um, which I'll do uh, after this video. I'm done. Anyway, started with a uh, German red-brown a primer, as, as I like to do for these dark models. I love this primer, I've said it before. This is my favorite primer, it, it goes on real nice. Um, the two vermin in the front got uh, beast hide for their, uh, for their overall skin tone. Uh, the two rat men over here got dryad bark, and the big guy, the abomination, got umbral umber. And I wanted to have, just like with the uh, orcs, uh, the goblins, orcs, and the troll, I wanted there to be a, um, a gradient of, um, of color and brightness. And uh, this one is much, much uh, starker. You can see the, um, uh, the, the light to the, the, the medium. The dark isn't so dark, and I'll tell you how I tried to make it even darker, but they're fine. I think on, on camera you can maybe tell, that, yeah, you can kind of tell the difference. Uh, in real life, you can you can definitely see the difference, and it's um, of course as usual they look better in real life. Um, I gave all of their uh, faces, hands, tails, and feet a cardic flesh uh, coat. Um, two of those. So once all those base coats were done, um, we uh, I then moved on to uh, the washes, and uh, for um, the let's see. For all four of the smaller dudes, the medium and small dudes, they got a seraphim sepia wash on their bodies and their faces, hands, tails, feet. Um, the big guy, um, he got Reichland flesh on his, um, uh, the lighter parts, the uh, feet, hands, tail, and, and face. Um, but his body got a non-oil wash because um, I wanted him to be a little dark. And I actually was thinking of giving him one more wash to give, make him even darker brown, but uh, I ended up not doing that. For the hair, um, now you uh, you can't really tell unless you, you compare the models and uh, I don't even know if in the camera um, you can tell, but the hair is different on everyone. So um, this, uh, this vermin got a dryad bark um, hair and this one got the umbral umber. Um, but these two, this one got the umbral, uh, no, this one got, uh, yeah, this one got umbral umber, and this one got, uh, Crixbane base, um, and then for the big guy, his was Crixbane base. Now, so I wanted to kind of have, like, a, a darker tone, and the, like, next high up one, so these two got the, the colors that I used, um, up above, and then these guys have 
colors from up above. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't, I, I'm not explaining that very well, but um, I wanted the, the hair to get darker and darker as we went along as well. Um, the the Crixbane base hair. These two guys got uh, the Nolan oil wash. Um, everyone else got um, Seraphim Sepia or Reichland. Uh, Reichland Flesh Shade. In fact, um, this guy who had the uh, the Umbral Umber hair, I also gave a second wash uh, in Nuln Oil to darken it up. And because at first it was blending in, because the Dryad Bark and Umbral Umber are so close, um, they are like they're they're pretty close when they when they are painted. Um, I gave it a uh, Nuln Oil wash just to to darken it even further. Um, once all that stuff was done, um, the teeth, uh, I gave a Screaming Skull for the teeth, um, and just like little bits, um, I wanted the teeth to look small and pointy, so I didn't fully paint them, I just did like little, um, little bits, and I think this guy has a nice, that turned out real nice. Um, I actually did not paint the deep recesses of the mouth, uh, some of them if, when you look, so don't look up close, um, there's some gray up there. I don't mind, that's fine. Um, because we're looking from top down, it makes sense. Um, the nails on the feet and the spines on the abomination got rotting flesh, then with a little bit of serap seraphim sepia. Um, I did not do it yet because I forgot before I varnished them, but uh, corn red for the eyeballs. Um, I want them to be a slightly darker red, so I have to go make sure um, it's different from the eyes that I did on the, um, on the green bruisers. Can't really see it there, but um, I want it to be a darker, like a really deep dark. So it's either corn red or a maybe scorn red that I have from P3 Paints. I'll, I'll use one of those. I'll figure it out shortly. Um, and then for their outfits, I wanted them to be bright, bright green. Like the art, um, that's, like I pretty much went with what the, uh, the stock art is and I wanted a very bright green. I actually wanted even brighter than my orcs and goblins. And um, it is, it's a slight, slightly brighter. Um, and it helps that I didn't use a wash to dull it all down. I started with um, uh, Moot Green, and then um, I gave it a Waywatcher Green Glaze. I was actually going to use other colors, like I was starting with the Warpstone Glow for the for the um, undercoat, but I went straight straight to Moot Green, um, a, a glaze with Waywatcher Green. Um, for the highlights, I went Necrotite Green, which I think is slightly brighter than the Moot Green. And then um, with a very thin brush, um, I just did lines of um, BL, BL10 Green. Now, normally I would just give it a whole wash, but I only did the slight lines. And I think it actually works really nice. Um, this guy's got some, some lines. So you can see up here, there's there on his knees. Um, around his, the, where all the folds are, on the under part of the folds and in the middle of the folds. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that's everything. That's uh, that's how I painted the Furry Fury. Um, I'm going to finish off with, um, oh, and I gave it a varnish, a uh, satin acrylic varnish, which I used on all the other models um, in the last videos on how I painted the other teams. I didn't have the varnish yet. Now I do. That's what I'm using. Um, if it ends up too shiny, I might go over it with a matte that I also got, but I think the, the satin works nice because it gives them a little sweaty vibe um, and they are wrestling under the bright lights of the casino. So why not? Makes sense, right? Um, so that's it. Uh, these, again, took a little bit longer than the other guys. There were a lot of different color changes compared to the other ones. Um, and the building took a slightly, little bit, little bit longer, but not much. Um, I might varnish them one more time, give them some red eyes, peel the bottoms of those, and they are ready for the ring. So um, this week we will be playing with the Furry Fury. Next, I'm going to finish, this is for a different video, but I'm going to finish the Lords of the Ring, which is one of my other son's uh, teams of choice. And I will show you how I painted those when that happens. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. If it was, um, leave a comment, like if you'd like, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Come back for more. There will be more Rumble Slam in the future. Thank you. See you. Bye.